and that's poison ivy. Okay, this vine right here going up the tree is poison ivy. We do poison ivy lab one because we're outdoors and you've got to know what poison ivy looks like. So when we're telling you chew the twig, bitter almond, never touch anything until train yourself. You say to yourself, is this poison ivy? No, I can chew it. And then you go, oh, bitter almond, cherry. But until you have ruled out poison ivy in all the labs, don't touch something. Okay? Now, we won't quiz you on it, but I will show it to you constantly. Okay? But as you're walking around, don't be grabbing things, all right? Uh, and like going, hey, I wonder if this is cherry. You know, you're chewing on poison ivy, all right? So, poison ivy grows as a vine. It wants to be a vine up a tree. It will also spread along the ground from the roots, and it will, if they weren't like mowing this, it will, it will shoot up 12 to 18 inches from the roots and then fall over or land on something and then climb. Because they want, they want to climb. That's when they get the biggest. That's when they reproduce these little green BBs, like clusters of grapes or the fruits. Those turn white like a very pale yellow, like butter, like a stick of butter. That's the color they turn. And that's a kind of unusual for a fruit, isn't it? Right? And you think it, it kind of tells you, eh, kind of weird, you know? A white fruit? I probably don't want to mess with that. There's not very many here in the East like that. It kind of gives you a good warning, right? You do probably know. Uh, I don't get poison ivy very bad. I, I never got it at all before. Now I just have to kind of be careful, but I can handle it. Leaf of three, you know, leaf of three, let it be, right? That's Now you know that's a compound leaf. That's the leaf. Okay, that's not three leaves. Okay, so compound leaf of three. The vine, you got to kind of come up here and take a close look, kind of bend this out of the way here a little bit. It gets covered with hairs. Very fine, like like our hair. I, I describe it as like uh, steel wool bristles or hair. Later, you'll learn Virginia creeper, which is leaves of five. That's perfectly safe. And it gets hairs on the vine. Those are roots, by the way. But it's very coarse. It's more like a yarn. It's thicker. So when you have stuff as thin as hair, that's poison ivy. Vines can get like as big as an arm. They can be that, that large on a on a tree. In fact, they can cover an entire tree. But when I had dendrology, the guy, he just drove a bus. It was at a little school. He just stopped the bus. There was a tree in the middle of a cornfield, probably 200 yards away. He goes, that's your next quiz. We're like, oh, can we run out to it, Mr. Swisher? No, from the bus. And it wasn't a tree at all. It was a dead tree covered in poison ivy. And the answer to the quiz was poison ivy.